Hello, I'm Annie Sloan and I'm supporting Oxfam. I've made a, a new colour called Lem Lem, inspired by my trip to Ethiopia. Every tin of Lem Lem sold will raise vital funds for Oxfam, helping to fight poverty worldwide. It's called Talk Paint. You can paint onto anything. You don't have to sand it, you don't have to prime it, you can just get stuck in. So what I've chosen to show you today is something that a lot of you will have at your houses. It's uh, a varnished bit of pine. It could be waxed, but you can go straight on it. I don't have to do anything, as I said. So I'm going to use this brush, which is a nice bristly brush. And uh, that's it. I'm just going to start painting. Um, the, this pine is a particularly hard colour to cover, so I'll probably find that I'm needing two coats of it. You'll see um, that I paint every which way. I don't paint like this. I could, uh, but I think it suits the paint better if you go every which way. This paint allows you to do many techniques. So I could do it with texture, which is I'm going to do it with this one. If I wanted to do it without texture, I would take this brush and maybe add a little bit of water and then I would paint it more in a conventional way, um, painting it every which way and then finishing off by sort of feathering it, getting it equal all over, and then feathering it. That means painting it like that. This paint requires no sanding, no priming. So it's all dry now and we're ready for the second coat. So the second coat goes on very easily um, and covers extremely well. Quite often one coat will do, but not every time. And again, I tend to do this every which way. Um, so it covers well and uh, it has a little tiny bit of texture. Uh, not completely smooth, which I like a lot. Everything's dry and I'm now ready to wax it. So I'm going to put clear wax on. I'm going to use this brush. It's a special brush. You don't absolutely have to use it, this brush. You can use any brush you like or just a cloth if you like. So I'll scrubble it around a bit and then Again, big marks, big space, big shapes, nothing like this. You don't want to put loads and loads, so everything you get, you spread out as far as you can. And you cover everything, so you don't sort of leave it like that with white bits, or you need to get your glasses on and look to see. So I've missed a little bit in there. There's a little bit because of the texture in there. I've got to make certain it goes everywhere. And then all you need to do is take a bit of cloth and I'll just wipe over to get the excess off. The reason that I'm waxing is to seal the paint. Without the wax, um, it will uh, absorb dirt and you're not, not able to wash it off terribly well. Also, the most beautiful thing about wax is it's got a lovely finish to it. It's got a lovely mellow feel to it. So, last draw going in. And there we are, finished. I'm really pleased with it. I think it looks a beautiful, beautiful colour. And if you want to find out more about how I got the colour, where I got the inspiration, have a look at the Oxfam videos of my visit to Ethiopia and you'll see where it all came from. <laughs>